Hello, 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 and thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Soraya Marshall Wright. Welcome to The World According to Soraya. For those of you who do not know, I'm an elder law and estate planning attorney in South Carolina, and I help individuals plan for the unexpected and protect their valuables through strategic planning so that they're not just able to leave a legacy for future generations, but in a better position to avoid living in poverty when they're no longer able to work. All right, so the month of January for, for most is New Year's Resolutions Month, but for some it's, I just kicked my job to the curb and I'm now retired month. So of course, I've got you covered with some tips. And to kick off our retirement series, our tips today are geared towards those who are under the age of 66 and filing for Social Security retirement in 2019. All right, so tip number one, you should be aware that when you are receiving benefits earlier than your full retirement age, and for most people receiving benefits right now, it's 66 or 66 in a few months. When you start receiving benefits earlier than full retirement, you are subject to an earnings limit. What does that mean? You could only earn but so much if you're still working without having your benefits affected. Earnings limit in 2019 is $17,640. So if you're working, even if it's part time, if you're working outside of that limit, you may not be payable. So be mindful of that. And that brings me to tip number two. Even if you aren't working when you initially file, but you later get a job, you definitely want to make sure you report any changes to your work activity. It doesn't matter if you quit your full-time gig where you were making six figures or significantly more, and now you just have a part-time gig at Target. You're still subject to an earnings limit. So don't make the mistake of thinking that working a full-time to a part-time job will make a difference because it may still affect your entitlement, all right? Last but certainly not least, your benefits are reduced for age. When you begin receiving benefits before your full retirement age, you receive a reduced benefit. The further you are from your full retirement, the bigger the reduction. And yes, the reduction is permanent. And no, it does not go back to the full rate when you reach 66 or full retirement age. Absent special circumstances or credits that you may receive due to additional work, your benefits will remain unchanged. The only increases that you could expect to receive, and really that's not even guaranteed every year, are cost of living adjustments, all right? So, if you didn't know that when you begin receiving benefits earlier than full retirement, you have some special rules and limitations that apply, now you know. And of course, if you need assistance navigating through all of this, we are more than happy to assist you. Do enjoy your retirement season and I'll see you next time.